Okay. Yeah, and so then there another couple I went to, but my brother was with somebody else, and he was with an older family, and didn't they didn't go out very much, you know, and um, but my auntie and uncle Taylor, lovely, lovely people. And I think they'd lost a little one, so to them it was... A daughter. Yes, you know. So, so, so it was Mr and Mrs Taylor, effectively, yes. but you called them auntie and uncle. Yes. As, as we always used to, didn't That's we? Right. Adopted you know. auntie and uncle. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. I, you don't think of that, because, you know, it's a different world that's happening to you. So you don't really know what you're going to do, what's going to happen. You've got a photo. Yes, I've got Auntie and Uncle Taylor. Have a photo. Yeah, go and get the photo, yeah. Paul. And she was a, a short little lady, like I'm short. And they used to come back to Guernsey every year. And I can remember one Christmas when they came to Le Coudre. And we lived in a big house then. And uh, we... I can't um, see it now. I, when I woke up in the morning, it was Christmas, near Christmas, I had a lovely red dress. Oh, it was lovely. And Auntie Taylor brought eggs wrapped up in, like, stockings. Oh. Yeah, and, you know, eggs with, and you couldn't get much of that. So, but, uh, no, they were lovely, lovely people. Everybody liked them. So that was... Yeah, that was their oh, latest... Don't. Okay, let me just zoom in on that. So this is Auntie and Uncle Taylor, who Mary, you stayed with as an evacuee in Keithley. Oh, I was yeah. spoilt. And they were very good to you, Mary. Yes, very, very good. Okay. And did thank you, you? Was this yeah. their? Was this their house, or was this the? No, that no. The, when I went Auntie and Uncle Taylor, I went to a house that you had about six or eight steps to go to the house. Right. And behind there was like other people and they had little houses behind. Right. And Auntie Taylor or Uncle, um, he had a um, relation that lived behind there and he was in the RAF. Right. And when... Um, when he used to go away, he used to bring me back the chocolate. Yeah. Is that why you love chocolate? Yes, I <laughs> love chocolate, especially Black Magic. Yeah. Son Richard sends me. And can I just mention, we're, we're not endorsing Black Magic chocolates and we don't have a sponsorship deal with them either. But if they'd like to sponsor this video, that would be great. Thank you very much. Well, if you much. want to send us Black Magic chocolates, we'll send them on to Mum. We'll send them on to Mum. But um, then after we moved, there was a chapel and we... We lived to Vernon Street, that was there on the photo. Right. And, and this is in Keithley? No, Crossroads. 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 Yeah, in Crossroads. And further up was the park, Crossroads okay. Park and that, and shops, the cop and different things. And, um, yeah, it, so we went to there, and that's why I like fish and chips. So... Right. Uh, what, what, how old were they, Mum? Because... Oh, I they they don't look young. No, that was the that, the last one because you know. Was this no, in the sixties I mean, or was this yes, earlier? Yes, probably in the sixties. Sixties, I should think. You know. So the but photograph I mean, was taken in yeah. the sixties. And you see, Auntie yeah, Taylor yeah. used to do sewing, and she did all this. So she was was she a seamstress by no, trade? No. Or it was just a hobby. No, I, she just did it. Okay. And I mean, uh, when uh, we had concerts in the hall there. Um, she'd make me a, a dress out of the tissue, you know, okay. the pink, you got the different colours. And she was clever with anything. And yeah, that one? That one. All full so of So Auntie Taylor made pictures. that? Yeah, beautiful. Which is, it's on, it's pictures on card and yeah. then sewn together. I don't know how she made no, those holes. She, they must have drilled that. And she also did Well, she would have probably had a large needle. For my son, no, Perry. No, the, the holes are, are bigger than mm. the thing. But yeah, yeah, she would have had a large needle, but I think. She also did one for my son, Perry. That, Perry, that we lost. And she put it in his photo in the bottom 
and it's a little box, isn't it? Yeah. And I've still got it. Did they run a chip shop? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so oh, yeah. An this they is Auntie were. and Uncle Taylor. Yeah. And I, they worked okay. hard. They worked hard. And Uncle Taylor had a bad leg. And I suppose when he was young, there wasn't anything anybody could do. But he had that all the time. Mm. But he worked in that chip shop. And, you know, down some steps to go and some more to go and chip the chips and that. But, it, oh, no, we had... Did you help out in the chip shop, Mary? Pardon? Did you help out at all in the chip shop? No. No, no I was young, you know. So you um, just ate the fish and chips? I ate, yeah, and on a Sunday, we had, used to have the scones with the fish yeah. in between. Oh. So but they were the, lovely. So the scones, um, as some people up north may know, so... You have the fruit scones or fruit scones that people talk about, but the scones that mum is talking about was two bits of sliced potato, potato. which had a filling, and then they Fish. were battered. Yeah, yeah. And they would be they would be fried. So mm. effectively, you'd have a sort of battered fish a potato sandwich mm. with chips. Yes, yes, yeah, you? yeah. And wow. then sometimes. I'm when things were a bit tough, you yeah. didn't. You just had the the, the potato oh, that, battered. That was when we were married. For us, with Dad, when we were married at first, we used to do that, and you'd have perhaps chips one day, and and these uh, scones with fish in between, or anything. Or nothing. You, onion. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because we weren't well off. No. You know. Yeah. And Dad. Would Dad have been evacuated before? Because Dad went to the Wirral. Dad went to the Wirral, yes. So, well, I don't know about that, Paul, really. I know that he was in Wirral and we'd been back to Liverpool and, and looked and we'd even been to see his house where he lived. Yeah. You know, and uh, but he, he found it a, a great change. Oh, yeah. But um, that was very nice because it was all done up around, you know, where we got, went. You know, where the people on television did the in docks. the morning? Yes. Yeah, yeah. the docks, yeah. <coughs> so Dad was absolutely thrilled with um, the docks because he'd worked at the docks, docks for 40 well, Dad, years. When Dad um, came back to Guernsey after doing various things, he then got a job at the White Rock as a, as a docker and loved his job and did that job for 40 years 40 till years. he retired. But, the, but, but before that, Paul, don't forget, your dad couldn't settle here because mum and dad had twins. Yeah, so when... So when he didn't settle. When dad left, dad was the youngest of three brothers. And then when dad came back after the, the war, he found out that he had two younger brothers. twin brothers. Mm. And... Um, he and he never, he, he never um, felt he could fit in because his, his older brothers were, one was in the Merchant Navy. Yes. And what did Uncle Bill do? Um, Uncle Bill, Bill was about eight years older, wasn't he? Or, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, 80s because it, Uncle, Uncle um, Bill went, he was a postman, but he was here in Guernsey after. He was here, after. yeah. Yes. yeah. Yeah. So when when Dad came back, he found out he had two younger brothers who were two or three, four years old, something yeah. like that. Yeah. And he so, never seemed um, to. He got a job at the Rish. <laughs> but he didn't but settle. But he didn't settle, so off he went. But then yeah. I didn't know him then. No. no. So the, you didn't know Baz until after, much later. When we all came yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But there's a photo in there about. The, um, evacuees. The but there was about 40 of us, I think, went mm. away. And we weren't with Mr. Breo, so we didn't, we lost our patois. So Mr. Breo was the, Mr. Breo was the teacher, teacher yes. and you weren't with him. No. So no, the Guernsey patois that you used to speak, mm. you slowly yeah, over time, you lost yeah. it. Yeah. Can you remember any Guernsey patois now, Mary? Well, you can remember you say, Fini. <laughs> We're finished. <laughs> <laughs> no. But what but do you say when something goes wrong? Oh, Uyghur. <laughs> Uyghur, yeah. 
this is a photo of the um oh, that uh what what are we going to call it the it's a reunion reunion. 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 reunion of the evacuees and last year there was only about um, 14 oh. if that much yeah you know there were still some alive but not being able to come to come yeah but the last one we had at Luray last year um i went to it and it was a lunch which was better for me I don't like driving in the dark, yeah. you know. But, uh, yeah, so... So you that know. was about the 80s, we think. I should think so, yeah. Looks like there's some 80s hairdos yeah. in there. Yeah. Mm. So, but, uh, how long were you away from Guernsey for, Mary? Five years. Five years. Five years. But you didn't think of your people a lot, I don't suppose. Some of them who had their mum and, and the girls, that was fine, you know. <laughs> And did you get any news at all oh, yes. from Sometimes Guernsey? Oh, yes, some, uh, you know, Red Cross uh, letters. letters. Yes, letters. Okay. And that. But, I mean, I was lucky because Auntie Taylor, um, be, having the fish shop, we went down into Keithley and we went to the, um, you know, the shows in the uh, theatre. Because you'd be okay. invited. Well, no, they had tickets, you see, they had the fish shop. So, so they were, but why, why did they have tickets? Because they had a fish shop. They were given tickets. Yeah, like they do, yeah. And like I've told Paul many a times, the bus used to stop, give the order in to Auntie and Uncle Taylor, and then they picked it up coming from Haworth. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. And did the, did the bus driver deliver it, or was it the people on the route coming back? They said, we'll pick up the fish and chips. <laughs> no, they, they picked so, you know, right. the, the conductress, Paul, she was there, you know, so she picked them up. So it was like a, the modern equivalent or the, yeah. the old equivalent of a service station <laughs> on a motorway. Yeah, probably so, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, I never really cried or anything, I don't think, where some did, mm. you know. But then I'm tough, eh, Paul? Are you? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you are. <laughs> but is it was it more an adventure for you? Was well, it? yes, because you just you can you're young, and you just fall into it. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It was something that had, you had to go, and you were lucky if you had somebody really nice. I mean, my brother, they were very nice, but they didn't go anywhere, so he missed out a lot on there, you know. And of course, sometimes you hear of people who were taken in oh. as, and they were they didn't have good times no. and they were effectively used as well, unpaid labor as well. well yeah absolutely and I know dad didn't have good yeah. ones mm. and they changed him you yeah. know but as you say they were used but they went to a farm I know and they just seemed to take anybody in and they were very, very good, yes, different to the other one, you know. Right. Yeah, right. It, it's, uh, you know.